Well, hello everyone. My name is John Sanja, and I wanted to welcome you to our course, Mobile Multimedia Magic. We are going to be working for two weeks, uh, looking at how you can create some different projects, some different products using mobile devices. Once you get into the course, um, the topics will be set up for you and you will see a course outline document that basically is a syllabus and that will list the assignments that we have and what each assignment is worth. I'm also going to uh, make sure that the assignments are listed in the upcoming events so you'll see the assignment will be listed along with the due date and basically the due date you have until midnight of that day to post your assignment. If an assignment is posted late uh, then there would have to be point deductions for that assignment. Uh, I have enabled what's called completion tracking for different assignments so you'll see like the intro forum. There is a box here that once you have uh, submitted to that forum uh, it'll check mark off as being completed for you. Some of the other assignments are going to be things that you can mark off as being complete. So let's say the photo comic assignment. Once you've gotten that done, if you want, you can click on it so that a check mark appears so that way you know you are finished with what you had to do. One of the other things in the course is that uh, I know a lot of you may have been uh, previously in the course from Edgespire on the iPad and so you have iMovie already on your iPad or maybe even some other apps like Explain Anything. Um, and we do have some different tools that we're going to have you check out in this course. I would ask that you try out these different tools um, because you might have some situations where somebody is going to try to do a product that doesn't use an iPad. Uh, in the school district I work at, we have Bring Your Own Device. And for the majority of the students, when they're bringing in a device, we don't see a lot of iPads. We see some, but the majority of the devices are phones. So kids are using their iPhone or their Samsung Galaxy and so having some familiarity of what it is that students can do with those devices is kind of helpful to have in your back pocket as a teacher. So, you know, even though you may be familiar with iMovie or have done some things, you know, some of the other apps we're going to look at like 30 Hands or Animoto actually kind of simplify things, makes things sometimes a little bit easier than uh, what iMovie is. And uh, it's also something that those are apps that are free and also work on phones. So if you are in a bring your own device district, uh, that might give you a little bit more bang for the buck. And so finally, I just want to um, thank all of you for registering for the course. And uh, everything is set up for week one. So the activities are set up in week one. And what we've got is you have a intro form to post to. Uh, another form about using mobile devices in school, why, why you would even want to do that. Uh, and then we're doing some things with images. And basically we've got three assignments with images that you're going to do. Creating a photo comic, creating a book trailer using Animoto, and then creating a narrated slideshow either using the 30 Hands app if you have an Apple device or the app called Flashem if you're using an Android device. So uh, wish you luck. I uh, look forward to working with all of you and again if you have any questions you can email me at sendjaj at gmail.com or you can post things up in the Coffee House forum to see if anybody else in the group can give help or also I'll post help if you think it's a question that would benefit everyone. All right. So thanks a lot and uh, good luck.